Hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I'm going to be reviewing today is the French medium tank, the AMX 30B. It's a tier 10 medium tank. And here is my review. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all, the top speed is 65 kilometers, and I'm going to be comparing it to the AMX 30. And the reason why is because in order for you to get this tank, you have to get the AMX 30, and I'm going to show you the differences between the two. You'll note that the AMX 30 has the same top speed. Um, the gun, this gun right here, is also compatible with the AMX 30 which is, the, over here it says AMX 30, over here it's the AMX 30 first prototype. So it uses the same gun. In terms of the uh, turret, you're going to get the same armor. You're going to get the 80, 40, 30. However, the view range for this turret is greater than the tank that comes before it. The tank that comes before it only has a 380 view range. This one has a 410. Uh, in terms of radio, it has a 750 signal range. Uh, you can get the same signal range with the AMX-30 if you get the, the highest uh, radio. Uh, the engine has a 720 horsepower engine. And again, the AMX-30, you can also get a 720 engine, 720 horsepower engine if you upgrade uh, the engine. But uh, one of the big differences here is the traverse speed on the AMX-30 B is a lot faster than the AMX 30. It's 48. The AMX 30, it's only 34. That means that this tank can spin around a lot faster than the AMX 30. So, in comparison to the tank that comes before it, the AMX 30B has the same gun, the same armor, 20 meters more view range, same uh, signal range for the radio, same horsepower for the engine, and it will spin faster, a lot faster, substantially faster with that higher traverse speed, which might be important for things such as tank destroyers. Now this is a medium tank, and we're going to go to the tech tree, and we're going to look at tier 10 medium tanks to show you the comparable tanks from other countries. In this case, it's the M48 Patton. M48 Patton is slower than the 30B. Got, uh, wow, that armor is a lot, lot stronger armor, sub substantially stronger armor, and it's got a better view range. Uh, this gun here, you'll see the rate of fire, we're going to look at 6.8 with 268 penetration. This one is 6.7, 260 penetration, 390 damage. So that was 260, 390, and this one is 268, 390. So it has a little bit better penetration. However, um, it doesn't matter that much if, if this patent were going against the AMX 30B. The AMX 30B has much weaker armor. Uh, the armor here, you'll see 177, 7650. And on the French tank, 80, 40, 30. So the armor is almost half as much. It's a lot thinner. But you need the thinner armor in order to get that speed. So the radio um, is uh, 750 signal range, engine 720. We'll compare it again to that Patton. Uh, the signal range is 745. It's a little bit less, uh, but the Patton does have a lot more engine power. Uh, the traverse speed is 50 degrees per second. That's really fast. So basically, the M48 has a little bit more punch with the gun, does the same amount of damage, has a lot more armor. Um, signal range is about the same. Stronger engine, better tracks. That would mean that the M48 Patton, in theory, is better equipped than the AMX 30B. So let's look at the German, I'm sorry, the British. They have the 
this gun right here has about the same penetration. It's 268 versus 260 for the AMX. The armor is a lot stronger on this tank. It's like triple, no, it's more than double, two and a half times. Uh, signal range is the same. Engine power is stronger. Traverse speed is faster. <coughs> so it would seem that this is also a better tank um, than that other tank, with the exception that it is, it is a lot slower. It's only 40 kilometers, while the French tank is 65. We're going to look at the Germans. Uh, the Germans have the E-50. The gun is a little bit more powerful, much stronger armor, signal range is weaker. Engine power, 1200, that is absolutely amazing. Um, <coughs> so it, it would look like it is better equipped, and it's almost the same speed. So the E-50M is pretty much a better armored, better gunned version of the AMX-30B. This is the tank that, that has that better armor and, and a little bit better of a gun. And we will look at the Leopard which has a better gun, weaker armor, same radio, engine about the same. Traverse speed is faster. So the Leopard is probably a fast tank, 665. The Leopard one, therefore, is a pretty much equivalent of the AMX-30B. Uh, although the AMX-30B does have uh, a little bit more armor. We'll check the Russian tanks. We've got uh, the Object 140. We've got a couple of tanks here. Um, the gun is about the same. It's a little bit more for this one. Definitely has more armor. Radio's a little bit less. Engine power less. <coughs> Traverse speed is high. Top speed is lower. So this is a uh, stronger version, but slower. We'll check these other tanks. This one has a uh, similar gun, much stronger armor, better radio, weaker engine, high traverse speed. Um, top speed is slower, not really an equivalent. We'll check this last one. It has a, a little bit better gun, much stronger armor. Um, the single range is a little bit weaker, weaker engine. Good traverse speed. Oh, let's check the top speed. 55, it's slower. Check the Chinese. They have the 121, which has a little bit of a weaker gun, but it does more damage. I mean, you're talking 260 versus 258. It's not a big difference. And, and the damage, 390 up to 440. Does a lot more damage with equivalent penetration. Stronger armor. Signal range is the same. Engine is uh, slower, weaker. Um, traverse speed is a lot higher. Top speed is definitely slower. And we've got one more to check the Japanese line. We'll see how it compares. The gun is a little bit less, 260 versus 258. Uh, it's got stronger armor. Same signal range. Same horsepower slower top speed. So what it comes down to is that the French tank is absolutely fastest for tier 10, weak armor. Oh, actually the armor is, I'm sorry, I've been, I thought that I was probably using the armor for the tank before. The armor is pretty good, 132. Oh, you know what? This is a Japanese tank. I thought it was the French tank. Let's get back to that French line. Um, as you can see, the gun not the best gun for medium tanks. But it's similar. You know, they do the same amount of damage. The average penetration ranges from, let's say, 258 to 270. 260 is on the low end, but it should be pretty much comparable. <coughs> Except for the fact you're going up against stronger armor. The armor is not the weakest. The Leopard had the weakest armor. However, it is fairly weak. Um the other tanks have at least double the armor. So that's one of the things you want to be aware of. you got to be careful with that armor. 
when you're going up against other medium tanks. The view range is about the same. Uh, this is 410 is, is definitely a good view range. 750 signal range is really good. It's just as good as, as the other medium tanks. 720 engine power. It's not the best, but it's it's comparable. Um, so as you can see with the E50, the engine power is like 1,200. Traverse speed was slower, 48, but comparable. A lot of the tanks were around 50 or 54. Definitely fast, 65. So that is the AMX 30B. Um, again, just as a reminder, the German Leopard is its closest equivalent. If you like the Leopard, you probably like the AMX 30B. And that's my uh, review, overview of the AMX 30B. If you have any questions, please post them below.